Good morning. It's a joy to welcome all of you to our Lord's Day service, and we do hope that the service is a blessing to you. We welcome the Larson family who are bringing Argo to be baptized today. He joins big brothers Keel and Freddie, so we're just so delighted that they are here and worshiping with us. We'd like to draw your attention to a few announcements. We have a tradition in our church of watch words. These are scripture verses that we hope you will take with you for the rest of your year, for the year 2020. So after the service, when you greet me in the back, I will have a basket where you can draw your watchword for the year. Another thing that we're doing that's new this year, in Fellowship Hall, we hope you all come to Fellowship Hall after church to celebrate with the family. Uh, we have a basket there called Hopes and Dreams for 2020. And what we'd like you to do is take the card out of the envelope, fill in the card, fill out your address and leave it in the basket and then in six months we're going to send it to you. We'll, we'll provide the stamp. And each question is very important. The first one is, what part of 2019 do I want to leave behind? Now I'm not talking about the US, I'm not talking about world politics, I'm talking about our own personal journeys. What is something from 2019 that you just want to leave in the past? Number two is what would I like to bring into 2020? And number three is what will I do to make a difference in 2020? And then in six months when you open this, I hope that you're <coughs> along the path. And if you're not and say, oops, then you can restart. So we hope that you'll take advantage of that. The basket is in Fellowship Hall. Are there any other announcements? Let us turn our hearts to worship the Lord. share their talent. The watchword for the epiphany is arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Please stand and join in singing hymn number 320, The People Who in Darkness Walked.
the Epiphany, found on pages 65 through 69. <laughs> Lord will praise you and all your people will give you thanks. They will speak of the glory of your royal power and tell of your might. Everyone will know your mighty deeds and the glorious majesty of your kingdom. Your rule is eternal and you are king forever. You, Lord, are righteous in all you do, merciful in all your acts. You are near to those who call to you, who call to you. You supply the needs of all who honor you. You hear the cries and save them. We will ever praise you, Lord. Let all creation praise your holy name forever. Uh. With sincere hearts and open minds, let us now acknowledge the sin that entangles us and prevents us from doing God's will. Compassionate Lord, you call us to a higher standard than we have achieved. We therefore bow in honest confession of those thoughts, words, and deeds which have been disembarked. Within our hands, we have loved imperfectly. Among the sisters and brothers in the church, we have not fully walked in the light. Often our congregations have not reflected the picture of mercy of the people in our communities. In our witness to the world, our lives have condemnation now for those who live in union with Christ Jesus. Hear the word of our Lord. I do not condemn you. Go, but do not sin again. Please stand. God created the heavens and stretched them out, fashioned the earth and all that lives there. 
and gave life and breath to all its people. Now the Lord God says to his servants, I, the Lord, have called you and given you power to see that justice is done on earth. Through you I will make a covenant with all nations. <laughs> Through you I will bring light to the nations. You will open the eyes of the blind and set free those who sit in dark prisons. <laughs> shows no partiality to race or culture. All who have reverence for him and do what is right are acceptable to God. Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For in our union with Christ, he has blessed us by giving us every spiritual blessing in the heavenly world. Let us praise God for his glorious race, for the free gift he gave us in his dear Son. How great is the grace of God, which he gave to us in such large measure. This is the good news. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, all people may participate in God's blessings. We are members of the same body and share the promise that God made in Christ Jesus. There is no longer rich or poor, black or white, male or